I'm making this video for Forever Pontiac because I'm putting this in my post that I'm going to make for uh, the off-topic session because winter's coming, um, it's getting colder, I'm not going to be using the Phoenix as much, and well, I'm going to be spending a lot of my time on this. And so I felt like it would be fun to make a progression thread um, about this in the off-topic section. Um, and uh, I just want to, for this video, I just want to give you guys like a walk around of the tractor, I guess. Um, I guess for starters, uh, would be it's a uh, engine. It's just a inline four, um, 1.9 liter. This is your carburetor. It's your air filter. It's your intake. Um, this is the gas shutoff. Um, here's your fuel filter, but this isn't stock fuel filter. Stock fuel filter is actually, would be a glass bowl that hangs down here with the, with the knob for the shutoff, and then it would run down here into the carburetor. Um, your coolant system is not a regular automotive coolant system, whereas it doesn't, it's not pressurized. This model doesn't have a pressurized coolant system, so I can actually have this radiator cap off while it's running, and it won't, you know, spew shit everywhere. Um, and just like, you know, it's from 1948, and they used to use water before coolant, but I use coolant in there, obviously. Um, there's your oil filter right there, off to the side. Um, your starter, and this is actually a 6-volt system. So, I can't hook a car battery up to it to jump it, because, you know, 6 and 12 doesn't, doesn't mix very well. Um... What else is there? All oh, right, and uh, in case you guys don't know what this is, this is called a PTO. It stands for power takeoff. And what this is is you attach an implement to it. Like say right here, you could put attach like a brush hog with the U joints that come off of it, kind of sit on the rear here. And uh, when you when you attach when you pull this lever here, right there, it engages. It attaches the the uh, PTO gears to the transmission gears, and as long when the clutch is out. Uh, it'll spin, and you don't need to have it. You don't need to have it in gear for it to work. Just as long as that lever is pulled and the clutch is in gear, or the clutch is out. This right here is also connected to the PTO. This is a belt um, shaft. It's for uh, attaching like a belt, kind of like the old factory systems where they had belts running everywhere. For like a stationary implement, like a circular saw, that you could position like right here, have the belt running off it. You just have the tractor running with the PTO, and you could use the circular saw. Um, it's a five-speed transmission, five meaning one, two, three, four in reverse. Um, and the thing about these tractors is you can't shift them while they're in, while they're moving. They're that's not how they're designed. Um, so I have to actually have to stop the track, like stop the tractor, then shift it like into fourth, and then start again. So you actually have to start these things off in in your in your high gears. You don't shift into them. Um, and here's your various knobs, like the, uh, here's the ignition, this completes the circuit, so I can pull this and start the tractor. This is your lights, your off, dim, bright, that's what they stand for. Here's your, here's your crank starter, actually, if I pull this, if I take this, this crank off here, pull it off, put it in the front, I can just start it over like an old-fashioned car, but I don't do that because, uh, there's a chance I could get caught and I could like break my arm. Here's your throttle. These are the levers for the hydraulics. This one goes to that one right there. And then the other one um, goes to that one on that side, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to start it. Although it's been giving me some trouble starting. Because I think, I think my, my fuel filter's got a little rust in there. So, you know, shit. But, uh... That's something to fix later, so let's see if I can start it. Ugh. Here's your choke right there. Here's your choke. Push the clutch in. That's my handy machete, you know, just in case. I need to go into battle. And, uh,. Oh, almost. There you go. That's 
now. 